In this video, we're going to activate and release the supinators or the inverters. So first, we're going to do short foot exercise. I want the majority of my weight in the other leg, all right? Now, for short foot, we're going to splay out the toes. We're going to allow the arch to collapse. You may need to slightly bend the knee. And then we're going to pull the arch up and allow it to collapse. And then pull the arch up. If you have a hard time connecting with that movement, what you can do is add a band, attach it to a heavy weight, I like to use kettlebells, and then wrap that band around the big toe. And from there, you're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the weight into the other leg. We're going to allow the foot to pronate, slightly bend, and then we're going to pull the arch up. Hold for about 5 to 10 seconds and release. Next, we're going to activate more of the extrinsic supinators. So we're going to elevate just the big toe and you can do that with a wedge, you can do that with a towel, whatever you have that's comfortable for you. And we're going to do calf raises. Now what you want to watch out for is the toe gripping like I am now here. We don't want to see this, okay? Relax those smaller toes and calf raise. Now you can do this one foot at a time, or you, if you have a wedge or you grab another towel, you can put it on the other foot and do them both together. Next, we're gonna release the supinators. Now this is really great for people who have very rigid feet. When you walk, if you don't see your arch move, if it's stuck in that up position, this release will be really good for you. So we're gonna focus on this lower back part of the leg and we are going to massage with our thumbs. So we start at the base of the ankle and then we slowly and firmly press up. Now this is best done with no lotion or oil so you can get that friction in the skin and get into the fascial tissue. And it could be pretty intense for some and you just want to go at your own pace, press as much as you can tolerate. Continue to go up until you can feel that tightness go away or release. A lot of the times it's right when we get to the gastrocnemius or that really meaty part of your calf that the tightness kind of dissipates. Next, we're going to do a dorsiflexion stretch to release those supinators. Now, if you don't have overly rigid feet, then simply going in to dorsiflexion like this should be good enough. But if you do have those overly rigid feet that just don't want to move, then it may help if from here, you take the hands, you're going to rotate the low leg. We want to see the ankle go from here, roll and drop, arch to drop, and then we continue going into dorsiflexion. 